Hey everyone, Eric here from Collie River Mountain Bike Marathon. I can't believe it's been almost a week since we ran the race last weekend, but it has almost one whole week. Uh, the crew's been very busy uh, tidying up all the trails around Collie. And a big thank you to everyone uh, for looking after our trails. We found next to no litter, uh, a couple of gel wrappers and, and bits and pieces. So big thank you to everyone for doing the right thing. And lots of positive feedback from the locals as well. Everyone was very well behaved, as all our cool mountain biking friends uh, normally are. So thank you very, very much. And a big thank you as well to our sponsors again. Big thanks to Synergy. They run the Muja Power Station and the Collie Power Station. And uh, they love the community and they want to be a part of the community and support the community. And one way they've done that this year in the last couple of years is by supporting this mountain bike event. So a big shout out again to the entire Synergy team. Also Parks and Wildlife, they are doing such a good job with putting brand new, exciting, wonderful trails here in Collie and also marketing and signage and uh, different links through town. So a big thanks and a big thanks to Rod and Nia and also for Jordan who were at the event village on Saturday. You might have caught up with them and they would have talked to you about the brand new Kylie Trail that has just opened. If you didn't get a chance to ride that on the weekend, make sure you come back to Kylie at some stage in the next couple of weeks or months and ride that trail. You can go out to Arklow. If you haven't ridden Wellington National Park, there's some really nice trails out there as well. So make sure you come down. And talking about Parks and Wildlife, they've actually just uh, allotted the trail builders for stage two and three of Wellington National Park. So JD and Paul Neve are both in the forest around Wellington National Park at the moment between the kiosk and Honeymoon Pool and Honeymoon Pool and the top car park of Mount Leonard or Pole Road, as some of you might know it, and scoping out where exactly the new trail will be and the exact alignment it's going to follow. It is super exciting. Probably won't see them open until some stage next year, uh, but nonetheless, super, super exciting that we have even more trail going in Wellington National Park. So all the more reason to come back and visit us, uh, check out some new trail. Uh, big thanks as well to Tourism WA and also Jody Hands, who's the local member here for the McGowan government. Um, Tess was here from Tourism WA, Jody Hands was here. We uh, showed them around the race. Uh, we took them out to Harris River Winery and they watched you all shoot past one after the other and they had a grand time. So big thanks to Georgina for taking them out and also Vanessa from Synergy went out with them as well. They love the race and uh, should see them uh, back again as supporters next year, I hope. Um, also, big thanks to the Ride WA crew. So much of the event crew was uh, guys and girls that uh, Ride WA have used in the past for Seven and Tour of Margaret River and other events. Really good to have Ride WA on board for a 2022 running of the Collie River Mountain Bike Marathon. Mustn't forget the Collie Mountain Bike Group, uh, which works with the Collie Cycle Club. Plenty of guys have been out this week pulling up arrows, just checking the trail and tidying anything up, and obviously into the event clearing trails. The trails, I didn't get to check all of them, but were generally uh, running really well, particularly the 25, 35, and 50K. I've known the 80K at the back, some of the fire road stuff, uh, the old stuff, might still have been a touch overgrown. We cleared back heaps. There might be one or two little spots that we missed. Um, but um, all in all, very, very positive feedback. Um, Wambinja Trails, it's DBCA, and uh, Collie Shire are naming all the trails in uh, the Collie area, uh, part of the Wembenja Trail Network. Um, you would have seen Rod and Jordan at the event village talking about that. Big thanks to the local bike shop as well, Crank and Cycles. Nick and Devon uh, were in the shop early on Saturday morning. Any mechanicals came in the shop and uh, they helped them out and got people going for the race. So thank you, everyone. Oh, I must thank the Shire of Collie too. We started uh, at Central Park and uh, obviously at the um, reserve uh, just next to where the traffic lights were. Oh, and a big shout out to PCYC2. I'm sure there's some people I'm missing. Entire event crew, super, super. Huge thank you to you. Also, Tim Allett, who was out taking all these wonderful photos, did a great job. 
Uh, you'll be able to find the links to the photos on the Facebook feed and I'm working on an email at the moment to send out to everyone with links to uh, results and photos and, and other information. Uh, we've already started working on next year. There's a few changes we, uh, we are making. Uh, so this here, uh, these are some people that have made this race happen. Uh, first of all, Wade Jarvis, who's got the Cross Country Marathon series together. You'll see him and his Winnebago and the Cross Country Marathon trailer. So big thanks to him. And he's got some sponsors on board for the Cross Country Marathon team as well. Uh, Joe Northover, absolute legend here in Collies. One of the local elders, really nice guy. And uh, he did call the country. Uh, super proud uh, to be a Collie local. And uh, he is absolutely stoked with all the mountain bikers, I had a chat with Bailey Christie, um, who now is in the US, ready for his first uh, Enduro World Championship, uh, Enduro World um, Cup round. So uh, uh, yeah, really great to have him here. Jody Hands, our local member and part of the McGowan government, Tess from Tourism WA and Vanessa from Synergy. So they all got to go out and see you all out on the course. Here's everyone at the start line. So on the day, we had just over 300 riders. There was a handful of people that pulled out in the, the week prior with COVID. Um, so we have uh, popped them on the list for next year to further entries. Uh, so look forward to seeing you next year and look forward to seeing everyone next year. Of course, we had a great day. The weather was great. The adaptive riders, we had Neil, Rollo, Heidi and Ebony and lots of positive feedback from them. So thanks to them for coming. I know there's a few others that would have come that couldn't um, with, uh, again, COVID and, and issues like that. So they had a great time. Big thanks to Harris River Winery for hosting the Checkpoint 2. And they are good friends of the Collie Mount Bike Club as well. And uh, that some of them just riding across the dam, Stefan Amarongan, and up through the vines as well. Um, at the trail, uh, a lot of battles going on. Water crossings uh, are plenty. And apologies to the 80k riders uh, out the, right in the back area. There's some really muddy stuff and water basically coming out of the ground and running down the, the fire trail. Two months ago, no water at all. One month ago, there was three big puddles where the really muddy section was. And on Monday, Tuesday and late last week while I was marking there wasn't that water running down the trail. And then Saturday afternoon, I was uh, pulling arrows out. And yes, there was an incredible amount of water just running down that trail that I thought would have uh, definitely cleared. It wasn't there on Tuesday, then all the rain just waterlogged. I've already got a solution for that for next year. So next year, you're not gonna have to ride through that. We're actually adding a couple of Ks as a reroute if we get permission from parks and wildlife. There's Bailey Christie, first one across the creek crossing. Uh, unfortunately, uh, there's not much we can do about the creek crossing and uh, there's one of our junior riders coming through. That's our second place, Mr. Mark, and another water crossing. And uh, this is our uh, first place rider, Elise. Uh, well done to Elise. And uh, this is Trevor, who's just finished. And uh, you'll notice his medal, if you haven't noticed already, at the bottom of your medal, you can break that little bit off at the bottom. That's a key ring for you to keep. And uh, there's half a dozen or so different sayings on there. So uh, yeah, yours may be different to uh, what everyone else has got. So lots of happy faces, more happy faces here. All the finishers who won the category, there's lots of them. They all got chopping boards and prizes and um, yeah, lots of happy faces. Guy in the middle there, Damon Wilmore, he is running the Crave event. Uh, which you might have taken a part in, uh, might have been three or four years ago now. So with uh, the sad, very sad news that the Southern Peaks down in Albany is not happening on the 22nd of September, Damon Wilmore has started pulling out all stops to get a race happening in the Ferguson Valley, just down the road from Collie, starting and finishing at the Wild Bull Brewery. And he has been generous enough to give us five free entries, one for each of the distances uh, that we raced here in Collie. So I'll be emailing out that to the random winners from each category that got those. 
Um, if you do get an email and you don't want to use your entry, let me know and uh, we will pass it on to someone else randomly drawn. So that's pretty exciting. Hope to see you there. And here's our winners, Elise and Bailey. Now, alongside those, Jody Hands and Chris Howard. Chris Howard's from Synergy. Help with the presentations. Thanks again, Synergy, and thanks to Chris Howard. So finally, I will say, uh, what else is on my notes? Not much. My name's Eric Mellages, part of the Ride WA crew, Collie River Mountain Bike Marathon. And uh, when I'm not doing this, I'm out commentating. So chances are I'm going to see you at Dwelling Up 100. I'll be commentating there again. Look forward to seeing you all. Make sure you check out the Crave mountain bike event on the 22nd of September. Hopefully that all runs well and goes off without a hitch. And again, I will email you the details if you are a lucky recipient of a free entry for that. So until I talk to you next time, a big thank you from the entire Collie River Mountain Bike Marathon team. And uh, we will catch up with you again next time. Cheerio.